All right, let's talk Atlanta Falcons. We are in the thick of training camp right now. First preseason game, only a few short days away. In fact, we're in the middle of joint practices, and one of a fierce Falcons rival has come out with some really interesting comments. I think it's a great sign for the Atlanta Falcons. I'm Nick, and this is Saturday Morning Inspection. All right, we're talking about joint practices between the Falcons and the Miami Dolphins. When I talk about fierce rival, I say that with love because the guy in mention here is former Atlanta Falcon, Clayus Campbell, a great player and great individual in every right. And he has come up with some very recent comments on the Falcons quarterback situation that I think Atlanta fans will be really excited about. Let's pull up this report courtesy of USA Today, then we'll talk about it more on the other side. The Atlanta Falcons did not resign defensive lineman Clayus Campbell, obviously over the offseason, but it wasn't due to a lack of productivity. The 37-year-old led the team with six and a half sacks last season and was a great presence in both the locker room and the community while he was in Atlanta. Campbell signed with the Miami Dolphins in free agency and will look to help the team reach that next level after a playoff appearance in 2023. Here's what he said after their joint playoff, a uh, joint practice experience recently. He said, Kirk Cousins is a legend in this game. He's had a lot of success and made some beautiful throws today. And then the Penix kid looks pretty good too. He made a couple really, really nice throws and good reads and stuff. All right. So again, Clay Campbell, class act. We all know it. He's a great leader in and out of the locker room. So hearing him say positive things, obviously about Kirk Cousins, we kind of expect it. But again, more momentum behind Michael Penix Jr. doing some really good things. Clay Campbell wouldn't say this. He's an honest guy if he didn't believe it. I think this is a great sign for the Atlanta Falcons when it comes to the future of the quarterback position. Mize, I'm curious what your thoughts are on this. But first, Falcons fans, in the comment section below, Clayus Campbell, wherever he goes, he's a fan favorite. But let me ask you guys, who is your favorite Atlanta Falcon of all time? There is a lot of really interesting characters in the history of this franchise, but you can only pick one. Who is your favorite Atlanta Falcon of all time? And put them in the comment section below. And while you're down there, make sure you go to the description box below to get our link to our recommended book to get you ready for the upcoming season. We've been plugging it all offseason and we'll continue to do it until you buy literally all of the books. We're talking about Playmakers by Mike Florio. If you want to hear me shut up about this book, you better buy it. If you don't buy it, I'll keep talking. So make sure you go to our description box below. See the affiliate link. It'll take you to Amazon. So you buy the book, all kidding aside. It's a great read. I obviously bought it. I enjoyed it. You will too. And if you buy it through our affiliate link, it helps out our channel. We'd really appreciate that. But Mize, I will throw it over to you now. What are your thoughts on this latest Falcons news? Yeah, Nick, I think this is really good news for the Falcons, obviously. As you alluded to, Campbell was on the team this past season. He does a lot of great things. He's always a fan favorite when he's on your team because he's a really honest guy. He's a great player. And when he speaks, people listen. And I think the obvious thing here is for Campbell to come out and praise Kirk Cousins, the veteran, the guy you know that's been around the block. They're, they've known each other for a long time. This is a guy that he knows and he knows well. That's easy for him to compliment. And, you know, Cousins is a starter. So he compliments Cousins. That's a guy that, you know, is going to be playing all throughout the season. He just wants people to know, like, hey, I thought he did really well. For him to come out, though, and start talking about Penix the way he did, I think it's really interesting because especially when you see uh, you see his time in Baltimore, that's why I'm the most familiar with him. He would come out in camp and say things more along the lines of, you know, the kid is really interesting. Like maybe when he talked about young Justin Matabike, he's doing a lot of good things. There's a lot of things that he can work on, though, and kind of go into more of like a construction, a constructive criticism type phase. But we see him here with Penix. He's saying he's doing really good, very impressive, all good things. Not really that constructive criticism style that he's had in the past. He's talking about, you know, Made a really lot of lot of really great throws. He thinks he's a great quarterback. So I'm a Falcons fan. I'm pretty encouraged by what I'm I'm hearing here. You know, this is probably part of the reason that Campbell is on the team. The Falcons had a lot of tough budget cuts when it comes to paying new quarterbacks, getting another first round quarterback as well. You know, got to make the money co- go a little bit further somehow. So Campbell leaves this team. No hard feelings. He didn't have to say anything about the new young quarterback, but he did. And when Clay's Campbell speaks, as I said, people listen. So I think this is really great news for Falcons fans on the progression of Penix and obviously great news about Kirk Cousins as well because we all know what he was coming into this year, but Clay's Campbell reaffirming that as well. So I think overall, really great news for Falcons fans, and it's nice to hear from Clay's Campbell again. 
Yeah, and I did a just kind of a cursory Google search, right? Just going through, listen to, look, trying to track down what Clay's Campbell has said about quarterbacks in the past, right? Because if if he's a guy that always says, "Hey, that quarterback's great, he's awesome," right? Then you kind of take it with a grain of salt. But I went back over the recent few years and I looked at him in terms of comments made about, for example, Desmond Ritter. There really isn't a whole lot there, certainly not unprompted, right? Kind of like in this situation. But when you when it's unprompted in the past, the one guy he talked about a lot was Lamar Jackson saying, hey, listen, I love Lamar Jackson. In fact, when he left the Baltimore Ravens and was going to the Atlanta Falcons, he said, I hope Lamar Jackson has a lot of success. I'm a huge fan of him. I hope he does really well. Again, similar situation. Calais Campbell was no longer a teammate of Jackson. He, he leaves the Ravens and he's like, even when he's going to Atlanta, he's like, listen, Lamar Jackson's a stud. He's going to be a great player. And of course, Jackson continued to prove he's a great player, went on to win the National Football League MVP last season. Similar kind of dynamic here with Michael Penix Jr. Just like when he was leaving the Ravens, he didn't have to say anything nice about Jackson. He didn't have to say anything nice about say anything nice about Michael Penix Jr. right here, but he did. And I love what he commented on that I think is really important. He talked about his playmaking ability, the throws he's made out there. Because as a defender, he wouldn't know how Michael Penix is in the locker room, right? He wouldn't know if he's a nice guy or a leader, right? Sometimes you hear some of these opposing players say, oh, he's, he's a competitor. That's what we like about, you know, he's a competitive guy. We compete against him. No kidding, right? You're competing against everybody on the opposing team. But the fact that he highlighted Michael Penix's arm talent, I think that's a great sign. Because we know Penix Jr., we know he's a smart guy. We know he's a veteran guy. He played like 47 years of college football. The question would be, could his arm talent translate consistently in the National Football League? And can he handle an NFL offense? We've already seen so far he can handle an offense. And now we've seen proof from a com competition, from a rival here in Clayus Campbell, now that he's on an opposing team, that his arm talent does translate. And I think that's a great sign for the Atlanta Falcons. We've seen a lot of energy build up in Michael Penix Jr.'s uh, direction. Obviously, this year is going to be all about Kirk Cousins. But I think the future in Atlanta is really bright because of this first-round quarterback that they added. <laughs>